Hi fine friends, my name's Georgia from Grow My Goodness here in the beautiful Bay of Plenty, New Zealand. And today it is time to harvest for the market tomorrow. So we're gonna check out what's growing in the garden. Let's go. First thing I wanna show you is these cabbages. These are mini red cabbages. They're just starting to form their little heart. We're not gonna harvest these today. Ideally, I would have loved to have had these by now, but I probably started them a little bit late. But I imagine sometime in the next few weeks we will have our first cabbage. I'm really excited for these. I think these are going to add a lot of value to our market garden. The packet indicated they would be about 50 days from transplant. We are at the beginning of winter so it could be more like 60, even 75. But even then it's still a really economical crop for us to grow we got about 150 in this bed i think if um, i was to do this again which i do have some more seedlings in the glass house i'll probably do them a little bit tighter get a few more in here and i can definitely see this being something that we grow on an ongoing basis this is red russian kale and it's definitely still in this baby leaf stage uh, we could harvest it like this and typically you know we wash it and bag it up and do it as like a baby kale salad mix but because we don't have bags i'm gonna leave this for now let it get a little bit bigger and make some kale bunches just like we do with our sorrel and our rainbow chard which we'll get to shortly just over here i've also got some purplette onions so they do have a small purple onion here and then also the tops can be used as spring onions i've got a few here that are looking i mean just about ready to harvest probably oh, not nice. quite nice. enough to take to market so i'll leave these in a little bit longer and see how they go opposite the kale bed down in the second plot we've got our beetroot and coriander interplanted this was sown about four and a half weeks ago so it's looking pretty good I'm really happy with the germination um, especially because I'd heard a lot of market gardeners say don't direct sow your beetroot I thought I would give it a go and I think it's turned out really well um, the coriander I mean it's not definitely not ready to take to market yet but I'm hoping in a few weeks we're going to have the addition of this beautiful coriander to our stand. Just next to our beetroot and coriander are the rainbow beets or rainbow chard and we are going to be harvesting this for the market tomorrow. So we just do these in little bunches of about 10 stems and initially we kind of struggled with this um, with, without the crates and without the cooler we just weren't able to do it it took us only a couple of weeks to figure out how to package them and they're staying super fresh for the markets currently we're harvesting about 20 bunches for the market and we sell these for three dollars a bunch our spring onion bed is looking beautiful not ready for markets yet but we do have this patch of sorrel right in the middle of our spring onion bed this was planted in here before the spring onions and we chopped it all out and re-sowed the bed and it just grew back and exploded but we're going to take advantage of the sorrel here I'm going to bunch it up in pretty much the same way that I do with the rainbow chard slightly bigger bunches about 20 leaves in here I'm going to try and make about 10 bunches today and these also sell for three dollars each sorrel is not that well known you don't see it at the markets all too often but it is really beautiful and people use it in cooking as an alternative to spinach and now with the weather really cooling down it's just got that beautiful fresh lemony taste i think i'm going to plant some more of this actually another crop here that's not quite ready to go to market is our chicory a reasonably fast crop here about 50 to 60 days from transplant this is my first time growing it so I'm really excited and it's not quite it's not quite ready yet still probably another three or four weeks away until we see this on the stand here I've got my 
red cherry radishes, which I am going to harvest today. We sell our radish bunches for $3 each. The size of the bunch varies week to week depending on the size of the radishes. Today we've got about 10 radishes in each bunch. I've only managed to get 13 bunches today, which is definitely not as many bunches as we normally sell so people will have to be in quick this week to get their radishes we've still got a lot left in the bed so hopefully we'll have a few more next week and our succession bed down in the second plot will be ready to start harvesting from radishes are by far one of the most popular crops that we sell so I'll definitely be continuing to plant more and more radishes. If I had enough carrots, I know that I would definitely be selling out. They are so popular. It's been a crop that I have struggled with a little bit this far. Um, just getting it to germinate and getting a full bit of carrots and getting them to grow big enough to harvest. I'm not sure whether it's the watering or the preparation of the bed or the breed that I'm growing. These ones are the Samantha F1, which is a fairly new breed, and they are lovely, really straight, a really nice carrot. So I'm definitely gonna persist with the carrots because I know they're gonna be popular. I'll probably get a few bunches out of this bed today. I only got seven bunches and I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna be patient with the rest because I want them to get a bit bigger, but it's not a bad start. At our first market, we probably only sold about three or four bunches of turnips. They weren't very popular people were kind of quite skeptical of them and they thought they were white radishes but over time we've actually built a bit of a customer base and we've got repeat customers coming back for our turnips which is really good to see so i'll be aiming to get around 30 bunches today so we can make a nice tall pile they contrast beautifully with our red radishes these turnips in particular are the tokyo white cross um, we've only grown these turnips and we really love them we find the size and the consistency is really good a lot of people aren't sure what to do with the turnips we talk a lot about the best way to cook them we find that lightly boiling them steaming them or pan frying them and serving them with a bit of salt and pepper and butter is just the best way to do it we're going to be harvesting some beetroot they're still at a baby beetroot stage but it makes it quite nice for putting into little bunches I'm going to put about four in a bunch and we sell these for three dollars as well unfortunately we've had a little bit of bug pressure here with our bok choy so a lot of these aren't going to be coming to market but man the odd one just looks absolutely stunning so i'm going to do what i can we uh we bunch these up into bunches of three we sell them for three dollars a bunch we haven't had a huge amount of bok choy to take to the market so far so I can't say how popular it's going to be but I think that actually just looks spectacular. We're harvesting the last of the peppers this morning. There's a few still on these bushes here. They've done really well this weekend, been really popular at the markets too. But with the cold weather kicking in, they're starting to look a little bit funny. The growth has stopped, so we'll be taking these plants out this weekend. So I've just unloaded all of the crops that need washing onto our wash table, which is just a nice pallet on top of some uh, concrete blocks here. I'm gonna wash down the crates and then start washing the veggies. And as they're clean, I'll start stacking them into the crates and then they'll go straight into the cooler. After yesterday morning's harvest, this is how our stand is looking. I've just finished setting it all up the weather has taken a turn and it's so windy we couldn't set up our gazebo but we're still here we're going to sell some veggies unfortunately a lot of the vendors at the market have decided not to show up today so I'm not sure how today's going to go but we are going to do our best and have a good time doing it well that's all for today's video I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching please if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one bye and a lot of oh it looks cool it's nearly ready well maybe i don't know what it's supposed to look like <laughs> just say action action no, no, no. This, is this is quite a difficult process actually